All right, in this video, let's go ahead and download Postgres on Windows. So open up Google and pretty much just type Postgres and then download. And go ahead and click on this very first link. And right here, you can see that you can pick from different operating systems. And we want to download for Windows, so go ahead and pick Windows. Then go ahead and click on download the installer. And in this page right here, you can see that you can pick from different versions. So you have Postgres 11, 10, 9, 6, 9, 5, 9, 4, and 9, 3, which is not supported. So go ahead and download the latest version. So in my case, I've got 11.2. So if you have 11.2 or above, go ahead and download because everything will work the same. So I'm gonna download 11.2 the 64 bit version for Windows. There we go. So now I'm going to save this and I'm going to open that in my desktop. So now what I'm going to do is simply double click on this installer. All right. So now go ahead and press next and then next leave the installation folder as it is. And right here, you can see that we have some check boxes. So the first one is the actual SQL server, right? So this is the actual server. Then we have the PG admin. So this is the graphical user interface client stack builder. So this is for additional drivers. And then we have the command line tools. So go ahead and select all of those and then next, next. And right here, add a password for the super user. And remember this password because you're gonna need it later for connecting to your database. Then next, and then leave the default port as 5432, next, and the same for locale. Go ahead and press next, next, and now you can see that it's installing Postgres on my machine. So just give that a second. And there we go. So that's it, we are done. So now uncheck the um, checkbox right there because we don't need to do anything extra with stack builder. So go ahead and press, um, or actually untick that box and then finish. There we go. Now go ahead and click on Windows icon and then search for the letter P. So Postgres, and you can see that we have 11. And inside we have the PSQL. So I'm gonna grab that and put that in my desktop. And the same for PG Admin 4. So that's the graphical user interface client. So just let me drag that. There we go. And let me put them right next to each other. And that's it. You successfully managed to download Postgres on Windows. In the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to connect to it. Join me in the next one. See ya.